thanks again for joining us. Uh, as you know, we have left Glacier National Park uh, and we have now arrived here in uh, Bozeman, but Glacier National Park is a great park to visit if you never have before. It is called the crown of the continent. It sits right on top of the Continental Divide and some people consider it the best kept secret of all the national parks uh, in the United States. So I really highly recommend it if you've never gone up there. There's essentially only one road that goes across the park. It's called Going to the Sun Road. Um, there are roads around the perimeter, but there's only one that goes across the, uh, across the park uh, with incredible vistas, you know, these big hairpin curves, the whole bit. So we started on the east side of the park uh, and stayed there three nights. Our big hike on that side of the park was the Otakomi Trail, uh, which was 10.8 miles. The Otakomi Trail was beautiful. It did rain for the first hour that we were hiking, so we were drenched, but um, it was once again very interesting and a lot of pretty views. Um, the lake was beautiful and we got to eat huckleberries along the way, so that's always a plus. Um, that night I invited our neighbors over. They were in a tiny vintage scamp and um, the weather was crummy. So um, Allie, CJ and Ethan came over and had a couple drinks with us and we enjoyed getting to know them. So um, you'll see them on this, on this footage. And then uh, we stayed there three nights and then we moved back over to the west side of the park. Um, in a little town called Cor Corum, which is right outside the park. Um, and we had a chance to hike up to Avalanche Lake, which is an alpine lake. It was only, I think, 4.8 uh, miles long, but a beautiful hike nonetheless. Um, and then after that, we came back by Lake McDonald Lodge, kind of a historic lodge where um, the timber barons and the timber industry built this famous lodge in the early 1900s. So that was kind of nice to see that. It was a um, beautiful setting. Chip and I split an elk burger, which I've never had, with uh, huckleberry aioli on it. I mean, it was divine, so that was fun. And um, yeah, I'm just enjoying Glacier. It was probably the prettiest park I've seen so far and uh, the trails have been challenging but fun and you can't beat the views. So once again, just enjoying everything that we see from sunsets to sunrises, the rain, the smoke, everything in between. We'll see you after this clip.
On our last day in the park, we were really lucky because it was also the prettiest day uh, that we saved for last. And we hiked the Highline Trail, which is probably the most spectacular trail in the entire park. It's 10.7 miles and it basically goes right along the Continental Divide. So huge mountain on your one side, huge valleys on the other side. Um, just spectacular views along the whole way, really. <laughs> Chip, Chip is really testing me here. So you start off on this hike holding on to a cable that is attached to the mountain so that you don't fall off the cliff, which was probably um, a couple hundred feet up. So um, yeah, getting over my fear of heights really quick, but this was the premier trail. And once again, we saved it for last. Saw some cool animals along the way. The bighorn sheep are just uh, so impressive. They remind me of the Pine Richland Rams <clears throat> where my kids went to school. Uh, saw my first marmot, which is basically just like a tiny little rat animal. I don't know, a little beaver. Um, but you really notice the drastic changes in weather and you can see the glaciers are so ginormous. Um, the glacier, the mountains of Glacier National Park that there are different weather patterns as you go along the hike. Literally, we're sometimes in the clouds and then other times um, it was sunny and, and beautiful. Right. And then uh, we left the park and our first day out, we decided to go uh, whitewater rafting. So we um, chose the Glacier Guides Company. And this was Kate's idea, <laughs> mind you. I've been dragging her on all these trails so she wanted to do something fun and exciting. So she chose the white water rafting and it, it was great. It was. They were class two and three rapids along the way. We had a great guide named Adam who was very passionate about the environment and ecology. Uh, he was always talking about the history of the park um, and advocating for sound you know, policies regarding protection uh, of the parks and the rivers and uh, basically the environment at large. Yep. Um, yeah, once again, my idea to uh, go whitewater rafting, and you'll see from pictures that Chip and I were in the front of the of the raft. Um, so we were the wettest, but it really was, it was a great time. I had a new respect for rivers afterwards. Um, this one was mighty and deep, and um, the force of the water just really impressed me, and it makes you realize how quickly you could get into danger, but with Adam, uh, we were very safe, and I think there were three other couples on the boat with us, all from different parts of the country. So once again, just getting to meet really cool people along the way. Um, that night, we talked to some other Airstreamers who we really hit it off with, and so we joined them for a happy hour. Jeff and Kathy, they're from Santa Fe, New Mexico, and um, had some great stories, so we plan on meeting up with them again when we go to Santa Fe. Yep. So we'll see you on the other side after these clips.
The hills are alive with the sound of music. Come on, help me out, Chip. <laughs> and everywhere. Chip's helping me cross the border. We're in Austria. It's Chip von Trop. <laughs> So we left the northern part of Montana, which is where Glacier National Park uh, is, and we made our way south, and we have now uh, arrived in Bozeman. But before we got here, we boondocked last night in this state park um, at a little campground called Lake Alva, which was just stunning, and it was right alongside of the road, so it worked out really, really well. It was probably my favorite place to stay, and the highlight was it only cost ten dollars. So um, we had our own private spot right on the lake, and um, yeah, it was cool. I mean, you don't have any hookups, but it was sixty degrees last night. Slept with the windows open and had a great time. So um, yeah, love Lake Alva. We're now here in Bozeman. I'm uh, dragging Chip out to go catch some acoustic music tonight and uh get out of get out a little bit on a thursday night yep so looking forward to that again thanks for watching uh watch kate's channel on instagram riveting underscore 
uh, adventures. And we will see you next week when we'll be coming to you from Yellowstone National Park. Thanks again. Bye to all our friends and family, our kids. We miss you terribly. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.